Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 29th of November. I'm James Spann. We stay dry today. Showers return tomorrow and a pattern change next week. Maybe some storms and the coldest air of the season. Yeah, a lot of things to talk about. Let's go right into it. There's the water vapor satellite view early this morning. Very well-defined shortwave upper trough. Just west of the state, that will bring some clouds in here today, but we think this day will be dry. The uh, showers on Thursday, the result of a surface cold front coming in. You see the wave train up north near the Canadian border. Check the numbers this morning. Not as cold as recent mornings. Everybody above freezing. Gadsden close. They're 35. Birmingham at 43. We'll be up around 70 today. Very mild day for late November. Around the nation. A little uh, Arctic air trying to invade northern Minnesota, but generally speaking, the really cold air for now is bottled up in Canada, but that will change next week, as you'll see. There's the watch warning map, a dense fog advisory for the southeastern tip of Alabama. Otherwise, things are quiet for the eastern third of the country. Severe weather, no problems today. Don't expect any severe weather issues for the rest of this week. In fact, hardly any thunder today. This is the rain for the next seven days, and yeah, numbers are coming up here. Uh, this is valid through Wednesday morning of next week, and now the Tennessee Valley area with about one inch of rain expected, and we'll take that. We need it. This will be the 11th consecutive day with no rain for most of the state. Lighter amounts down to the south. We'll have the chance of showers tomorrow, and then a more significant rain event Tuesday of next week. So model fans, let's dive in. This is the GFS, the 06 C run valid today at noon at 500 millibars. You can see the shortwave energy approaching from the west. But despite the wave, the low levels are just too dry for rain today. We'll say a mixture of clouds and sunshine, a gradual increase in mid to high level clouds with a high around 70 today. But tomorrow, there you go. There's your batch of showers coming in. We'll uh, animate that with the uh, high resolution NAM. And this is not going to be a big rain event, but I think we'll probably see some spots maybe getting one half inch. Not going to rain all day. No washout. Just be ready for a shower from time to time. This is the uh, QPF coming off the NAM with this little event tomorrow. And it's actually got Birmingham with one inch of rain here. I don't think we see that much. I think for most locations, it's still going to be one half inch or less. And I guess some thunder is possible, but mostly just rain showers. And then Friday, there's no Arctic air involved, so the weather stays mild. High should be well up in the 60s. The sky partly sunny. The day should be dry. And Saturday, as the weekend begins, a dry, mild day. We start the day in the 40s, the high in the upper 60s, partly sunny. And Sunday, pretty much the same deal. Partly to mostly sunny with a high in the upper 60s. So after the chance of showers tomorrow, we'll be dry Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, moisture begins to feed back up in here. And we might want to mention just the chance of a few widely scattered showers. Got a cold front north and west of the state. And Tuesday, here comes that front producing an organized band of showers and thunderstorms. And this is a little different from the modeling we showed you yesterday, but that's the way it works in the busy, in the cold season, uh, where we got these active waves. Uh, but there's actually some decent agreement in here with the European. This is the European Tuesday. Same thing. Got a very deep surface low northeast of Duluth, Minnesota, with a, a trailing cold front and a band of showers and storms. Not really a severe weather look, but there could be some strong storms involved with that. And that will probably generate rain amounts of uh, one half to one inch. And let's go to Wednesday. Whoa, Nelly. Look at the high amplitude. Big ridge in the west, big trough in the east. The rain is gone, and we turn sharply colder on Wednesday. Uh, this verifies we'll probably see highs in the 40s with a strong north wind. These are the temperature anomalies on Wednesday of next week. And you can see they go way below average for much of the central and eastern U.S., Let's go out to the 
end of the forecast period. This is Friday of next week, the 8th of December. Still got troughing over the east, and that's a cold and dry air mass and a little wave to the west. And do we dare even look at the next day? Oh, why not? That's what we do here. This is the GFS output for Saturday, December 9th, uh, showing a snow event for the northern third of the state. And goodness, you know, I will not post this on social media. Only those of you that watch this will see this because you understand the limitations and you understand the fact this is out there in the land of voodoo. Is it possible? Yes. Is it likely? No. But the pattern certainly looks uh, cold and unsettled for the latter half of December, and that'll make the winter weather fans happy. Let's check the numbers off the uh, European Ensemble. You can see the nosedive Wednesday of next week, the high dropping to 52, and then highs mostly in the 40s, lows, 20s, and 30s. Should be the coldest air of the season so far. And we're going to show some voodoo stuff. You know, this is the one uh, that's the ultimate voodoo chart. This is the 45-day accumulated snow output from the European. And again, you got 51 members. That's the top part of this. And, and about oh, more than half of them are suggesting some snow here. At some point between maybe the 10th of December and the 11th of January, some of the members go kind of crazy, but the ensemble mean is down there at the bottom. And, of course, we stress many of the members show nothing. But the ensemble mean has got 1.2 inches of snow accumulated on a cumulative basis out there by the middle of January. So it might be kind of fun to watch the weather around here in late December, early January this year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.